Hi guys, Jacob from Gamer Cove Studios here, and today we're going to talk about gradient shape overlays. Now, what are these? Well, these are um, gradients that you can download free from our site. And if you're looking at the wallpaper right in front of you, this is a free uh, wallpaper set you can get from Gamer Cove Studios. And it was created with a few of these gradient shape overlays. So we're going to show those to you. Well, first of all, where do you get these? You go over to our site and bring that over here, um, GamerCobeStudios.com, and if you go to Resources and go down to the very bottom, and you'll notice there is a section on gradient sharing, and you can these are all free, so download all of these great gradients, um, and right here are the gradient shape overlays, and you just go ahead and download that just drag them out of the folder and right onto the gradients palette and you're ready to go. Now let's go into Pixelmator and show you these. So we've opened a new canvas and you'll notice right here in the gradients palette there are four gradient shape overlays. So um, I created these, if we open them up you'll see they're black and white color stops with opacities um, turned up and down and, and grouped together and it was pretty difficult to put these together but what it does is it allows you to uh, have a scalable shape if you notice you can totally scale this as big as you want or down as small as you want and it's an instant shape that you can create and add to your project let's look at each one of them so you saw the round and we also have another round but this has the middle out of it so that can be useful and we have a nice vent shape and we can scale that as big as we want and make some neat stuff out of it and we also have one more it is a burst effect or the rising sun effect and that can be useful in our projects too so let's show you what can be done with these. So let's say we had a gradient to start out with. We'll put some color on the screen. And now we can go to a new layer. And we'll take one of these gradient shape overlays in our project. And we're going to use it a little more obvious right now. And we'll just put it in there. And you'll notice you see a little bit of transparency. You can see some of the color coming through, but the real fun starts to happen when you change the blending mode and if you go into overlay especially you'll see it really puts it right into the color looks really great and if you change its opacity um, you can blend it in even more and of course there's other blending modes you can go through and uh, try different ones and see what effect it will have with depending on the color that you're using Another thing you can do is you can actually command click on the shape and it won't grab the whole shape, it'll grab just kind of these sections in between and we'll put a new layer out there. But that's kind of neat because you can actually use a, another gradient. Let's say we'll use this one here and we're just filling those sections. So now we've, we've done that. We can command D to deselect and now we've kind of changed and, and added a whole different aspect to it and we can turn down the opacity of that too so we have control of each element as long as you put them on new layers I'll shut that off for now and of course you can mix and match these uh, gradient overlays um, if we put a new layer and we'll drag from the top down and um, just use shift to straighten it up and we'll then change the blending mode to overlay and we can uh, mix and match you can see this neat intersection of of those gradients there and of course you can change its opacity so you can blend it at different levels if you just want a little bit of a, a bump to it there or if you want the full strength of it and again you can go back to the original one and change it too so you can kind of mix these up Let's do a couple more of these. We want a new layer here. And we'll just kind of throw some of these out here. One there. And 
another one. Kind of have some fun with this stuff. Okay, we'll ch change the blending mode again to overlay. And you can just see, we can kind of create some real neat um, uh, shapes here and designs in our project. Um, put another one in the middle there. Okay, and maybe you even uh, go and grab a, a neat texture. Let's grab a texture from off screen here and drop that on there. And then we'll change the blending mode to that to an to an overlay. Let's try overlay first. And that makes something neat right there. I mean, you can quickly create some neat artwork. Let me try multiply. You know just in a few seconds we've created something really cool really neat um, we can change the strength of it too so try different things let's see what soft light does that kind of creates some neat color in here and ages it a little bit so grab these pick these up they're super easy to use um, feel free to go in they're not easy to edit or tweak but um, they should just work out of the box if you do end up messing with it and can't figure out how to get it back just remember you can always go into that folder you downloaded and dr drag and drop the uh, gradient overlay right back into your uh, gradients palette and you're good to go again so I hope you guys enjoy these use them I want to see what projects you uh, create with them uh, and if you do create something neat remember come over to the uh, Pixelmator design Flickr group and share your great artwork. Thanks a lot guys and we'll see you next time.